All right. Are you ready? <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Okay. Which one of us will be better at guessing quotes? Let's get to it. Welcome to next time where we play games, battle through challenges, and sacrifice our palettes so you don't have to. Yes, we do. Today we're going to test our quote knowledge skills with another, can I quote you on that? <laughs> new Year, New Hope edition. Wow. I'm excited. I think they picked these games because they're good at it, not me. You weren't bad at it last you time. Yeah, you were I pretty mean, good you did lose, but you came close yeah. to second. <laughs> You see, we're trying to come up with something so you have to level up your game each time. Oh, okay. I see. I see. <laughs> All right. So he wants to ask the question first. Do you want me to? Uh, sure. You okay. seem eager. All right. He seems all really eager. Eager, eager? <clears throat> or eager, eager beaver. Eager. All right. Who said, always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other? Was it President Ulysses S. Grant? President Herbert Hoover? President Abraham Lincoln or President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I'll repeat the, the quote. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other. Doesn't sound like a Lincoln quote. I like the quote. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm going to say the last one, which was uh, Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Franklin okay. Roosevelt. I'm going to say Franklin Roosevelt. And you can't say the same that same one. No, <laughs> yes, you can't. He can. Don't be mean. Um, I claimed it first. <clears throat> I'm gonna say, what were the choices again? It was um, President Grant, Hoover, Lincoln, or Roosevelt. We're gonna go with um, Lincoln. All right. One person did get it correct. Oh. And it was George. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it really? It was George. Yeah, it was Abraham Lincoln. Wow. Abraham. Lincoln. You know why I picked Abraham Lincoln? Why? Because he's the only one I really know. Oh, yeah. okay. no, I'm just kidding. I don't really know him, but he's a well, the more well known that I know. Right, right. I and mean, I've heard of all the other presidents. Yeah, of course. I mean yeah. Grant and Hoover. I mean, I know yeah, Hoover Dam was. <laughs> I, him, but I think it. Lincoln probably has the most recognized speeches. Yeah, yeah. As, as far as presidents go. Yeah, I, Roosevelt was probably the second, just because of World War II. Did right. he serve four terms? FDR. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think it was three terms. Three. Three. He was running for re-election yeah. for fourth. Right, yeah. And he died. Because after that, you can't run after, you can't run three terms in a row. And I think he was you the only one two. that did three. You can only do two. You only do two in a row. I'm saying you can't do three in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the only president that did three yeah, in a row. Yeah, because they changed the rule after that. Yeah. <laughs> People got tired of him. All right, give, <clears throat> George, a, give George a point there. He wasn't going to give you a point, man. I'm reading the second question. Okay. Because I am the victor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Um, can I phone a friend? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not you're doing reading. It. I'm not doing you that. shouldn't have to. <laughs> okay, I never look back, darling. It distract. It distracts from the now. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. Hmm. Okay. Um, Corilla. That's a 101 Dalmatians, right? Mm -hmm. That's the old lady. Mm -hmm. right. that's, the, that's the bad lady. Bad lady. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound something that that bad lady would have said. <laughs> okay. Um, Elsa from the infamous movie Frozen. Oh. oh, I haven't seen it. Never seen that one. Oh, okay. Um, then we've got number O, or letter C, <laughs> Snow White from the infamous Snow White. Snow White, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Okay. And last but not least, Edna from the Incredibles movie. Oh, <laughs> that's an Edna. Yeah, that sounds like Edna. Um, you guys are wrong. It was Corilla. <laughs> it's not Gorilla. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys are correct. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm just saying her voice though. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. If I can get the paper. She has open. a little darling thing. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Good resolutions are simply checks that men draw on a bank where they have no account. Ooh, that's a good. <laughs> that's really good. Whoa, say that again. Good resolutions are simply checks that men draw on a bank 
where they have no account. Oh, wow. That's really good. That's It's either A, W.C. Fields, B, Matt Damon, C, Gordon Ramsay, or D, Oscar Wilde. Okay, well, I'm going to say no to the Gordon Ramsay. It doesn't sound like something he would say. It doesn't have enough F words in it. <laughs> so I'm going to say that's a negative. Yeah. Um, I mean, that could be a Matt Damon, maybe, like a movie line. Um, I can't give hints. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. What was the first one? W.C. Fields. Fields. I don't even know who that is. He's, so. a, he's a comedian back in the black and white silent okay, days. Okay, he's, he's out for me. Yeah, it's between Matt Damon and Oscar Wilde. Sounds more thought provoking, like Oscar Wilde, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, we're doing we're doing that. We've 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 phoned each other. <laughs> yeah, we phoned each other. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we we both found a friend. It was Gordon Ramsay. You're lying. No, <laughs> it was, was Oscar. Like, Why did you lie? <laughs> it was Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. Okay, that makes right, sense. So I'm noticing a pattern here. So you both got one. Oh, no, that was yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to draw from the bottom. Okay. All right. A. Hey. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Hmm. Okay. That's a really That's nice quote. That's a nice quote. I'm going to. Okay. Yep. All right. Susan B. Anthony. Mm. Eleanor Roosevelt. May West or Meg Ryan? Oh crap! I'm gonna say it's a female. Um, well, <laughs> that's a good that, guess. That's a really good guess. <laughs> All four of them were female. Wow! Theodore <laughs> Roosevelt. Hmm? Oh, I'm thinking Theodore Roosevelt. Okay. Uh, no, Theodore was Roosevelt's wife. I can't remember what her name was, but Eleanor is Franklin Delano Roosevelt's wife. Okay, I'm just kidding. All right, so All right, Susan B. Again? Anthony. Well, uh-huh. that took everything out for me. <laughs> All right, Susan B. Anthony, Eleanor Roosevelt, Mae West, or Meg Ryan? Which one's Mae West? Uh, she was also an actress back in like the, okay. the early days. She was a comedian. Oh, comedian? She was okay. a comedian, but she was also like, um, was she was like an activist too, I think. What were the first two, Susan B. Anthony? What Susan B. Anthony one? and Eleanor Roosevelt. I'm going to say Susan B. Anthony. Okay. That was A. That was A. And that was what I chose in the very beginning. Yes, it was. Why are, are you, you copying are, me? Are you still going with that? <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> Do we read them again? No, I'm just going to stick with A. Okay. That's, 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 that was my call. If we're so both you're both wrong, saying A? Uh-huh. You were both wrong. It was Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh, okay. Well. All right, George, you draw. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me. It was me, George, and you. Right. I remember now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right there. Did I put down? Oh, that's right. None of us. None of you got right. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. The best is yet to come. Oh, you guys have heard this, right? Um, I have, but I don't know who said it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Um, numero or letter A. <laughs> you can say numeral if you want. <laughs> okay. Frank Sinatra. Letter B. Louis Armstrong, letter C, Walt Disney. Oh. Letter D, Dick Van Dyke. Oh, they all four could have said it. Yeah. I mean, I know uh, um, John Avery Whitaker said it on you know, <laughs> Adventures in Odyssey. I think he's not an option. <laughs> um, what were the options again? It was Walt remember. Disney, Dick Van Dyke, Frank, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra, and... Can't remember third, fourth. Walt Disney. No, he I already said that. Louis. Oh, uh, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Uh, best is yet to come. I'm not going to find a friend this time. I'm thinking of this with my own. <laughs> it sounds like. A... How about I tell you, it's not letter B. There you go. I just, I just cut it down by. Which, which one was B? B was Louis Armstrong. Yes. Okay. So it's not B. Okay. It didn't sound. It like didn't an sound like a Louis Armstrong, but the other three it could really be. It doesn't sound like a Sinatra. Uh, no. I'm going to say Walt Disney because that just sounds like something that he would have said. Walt Disney. So, especially Dick since he was Van always looking Dyke. towards the future. Yeah, he was. But Dick Van Dyke has always been such an inspirational type yeah. of person. <sighs> How old is he now? Like 98? He's like 98. Yeah. And he still dances every day. Incredible. 
incredible guy. Um, I'm going to say Dick Van Dyke. Incorrect. Both of you. Really? Frank Sinatra. Boom. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I stink at this game. <laughs> you have really stuck today. <laughs> okay. It's my last chance for... <clears throat> All right, here we okay. go. Here we go. Here All we right. Go. Look, learn from yesterday, right. live for today, hope for tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Why is the printer turning on? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like you fool. Sorry, Why that, that was the printer in the office. Yes. <laughs> All right. A, Helen Keller. B, President Gerald Ford. C, Albert Einstein. D, Paul McCartney. That's a really eclectic group there. <laughs> what what did you what was the question again? Or what was the Oh learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. It was Helen Keller, Gerald Ford, Albert Einstein, Einstein. Paul, McCartney. Paul McCartney. Isn't Paul McCartney the only one that's left from the Beatles? The original no, Beatles? No. He isn't? Oh, okay. I thought he was. Definitely not him. Really? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's but. all you're going to say. Explain your answer to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really sound like him. Not that um, I know him or anything. I, I know him. <laughs> well, you know him personally? No. <gasps> oh. Um, so I'm just going to pick a letter. It's not D. I'm not going with D. I'm going to go. Okay, I'm going to look at past results here. See if I can. Um, Find a pattern? Really? Find a pattern. D has I been. I don't think there's a pattern. Hey, let him go. I I'm curious there's to see what two happens. Hey, okay, read them in order again for me. Helen I'm Keller. Going to see. Helen oh, Keller. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! I, it's not Helen. I'm pretty sure it's not Helen. Helen Keller. Keller, President Gerald Ford, Albert Einstein, Paul McCartney. I'm, I'm gonna go with B. That's what I was gonna go with. B? No, just wait. I can't do the same thing as him, just in case it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the but time it, is counting down. But if it's right, then I pull away. This is my last chance for a. Uh, oh. Because I have to read the next one and I can't get it. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh. <laughs> C. It is C. Albert Einstein. Really? Are yeah. you serious? I should have kept C. my first. No That's shit. what you were going to say with C? Well, remember I said C. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it sounds like an Albert Einstein it, it, Yeah, but it does kind of sound presidential, too. though, too. Like, it could be. Yeah. Although, you know, <laughs> although, you know presidential people are just people, too. Well, yeah, that is true. All right. All right. You each have a chance for one last one. So far, one. I'm oh. in the lead. Okay. I would have known this one. <clears throat> be the change you wish to see in the world. Okay. Such a great quote. Yeah. Alan Greenspan. Negative. Who is that? <laughs> he was the Federal Reserve Chair, I think. Gandhi. Michael Phelps. Socrates. <laughs> I'm really doubting it's Michael Phelps. Um, I'm going to say... Well, I mean, he was pretty transformative. Yeah. Transformative in the um, swimming world. He was. What were the lists again? <clears throat> Alan Greenspan. Gandhi, Michael Phelps, or Socrates? I'm going to say Gandhi. I'm going to say Socrates. All right. You say Gandhi? I said Gandhi. And you said Socrates. One of you was correct. It was Caleb. Ding. It was Gandhi. Yes. Which means Which Caleb means and I are tied. tied. No, no, it means George and oh, I George? are tied. Oh, George and you are tied, but I won. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, actually, we won. We're trying to get less points. Whoever gets the least points. See, I was playing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys got close. <laughs> you guys got close. Yeah, we did. Thank goodness I watched The Incredibles or I have gotten it. <laughs> if I had been asked Gandhi, though, I wouldn't have gotten it because I love that quote. Yeah. I, love... I, I even put it on one of my photographs. That's, oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember it. I, I, I knew I had heard it multiple times before. I just... So which which quote... I, I'm still shocked the best you guys have is Frank Sinatra. But yeah. Which one quote is your favorite? Um, um, I actually like, um, Einstein's probably the best. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. Yeah. It's, it's very simple, but I mean, mm. it's something 
like a, a lot of quotes or inspirational sayings, they're very much of you have to be in the right situation for them to actually mean something. That's more of just it's I mean it's everything it has to do with everything and every day. Mm. It's just it's a, one of those rep- repetitive cycles that yeah. you just kind of have to go through. Yeah, I, I'm glad with that um, the theme was like New Year, New Hope. That's a that's a cool theme. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I, I agree. I think I like Albert Einstein's the best. Uh, Gandhi is really good. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Because I mean that's that's it's true. It's really a good quote. Um, yeah. But yeah, I I, I think Einstein is my favorite too. Of all of them. I liked Oscar Wilde's The Good Resolutions are simply checks that men draw on a bank where they have no account. Yeah. That was a good one. That's good. But I still think that's my best favorite. How about you, George? Um, I don't know. These two are kind of very similar. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like these two because I'm trying to pick something different than y'all. <laughs> okay. You like the Lincoln and the Eleanor Roosevelt yeah, one? Yeah, so the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Yeah, that's a really nice story. Um, And then always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any others. Probably that one. Mm-hmm. Probably yeah. I'm going to go with that one more than that. Yeah, that is a good one. one. So the Abe Lincoln one. Yeah. 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 Those are all very good. Very good. I liked it. Yeah. Well, well what, go ahead. What we need is for you to tell us what you thought of these quotes, if you liked them, which was your favorite, and if there's one that you like better, like one that yeah. you have heard and that you've always wanted to yeah that you've always held on to during hard times or good times or whatever yeah yeah Yeah. and what um theme should we have for the next can i quote you on that give us your suggestions and we might use them in a future episode might even mention your name there we go so let's see in the words of frank sinatra the best is yet to come (laughs) 